make sure everybody's on the same page. Uh, uh, I move that we uh, adopt the agenda as written. Do we have a second? A uh, second. Okay, a second. So, so adopted. Yes, we don't have to vote. Yeah, uh, yes, there's no objections. No objections? No objections. Yeah, do, we have a, do we have a couple other agendas around? I didn't, I didn't get one. I might have to go print one. Okay, come on right up. Yeah. Maybe. You have the jump drive? Oh, uh, yes. And the keys to the castle? The keys mm -hmm. to the castle. That's it. When you're king. Democracy in action. Yes. Yes. Unanimous consent even agendas. by people who haven't yeah. read the agenda. They say it looks fine to me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll go ahead and press on then to the annual report. Is it working there? Hello, yep. Facebook Live people. They're, we're living now. So, anyways, um, brought to you by you know our current board, who's really done a lot of things here, and we'll get into what they've done. You know, that's really the one of the most common comments that are out there. Oh, nothing's getting done. Well, that's why I emphasize in our meetings that we get together, hey, do your reports of what's, what you're getting done so that you can share that with people later. And uh, we, have, we have a bit of a list for you here. So, oh, if I don't go backwards. So, uh, first off, voter registration. You can see the uh, 7,500 and some for the current year versus 7,461 for the previous year. So that's uh, you know a, very, a small increase, but but some. Then uh, National Libertarian Party memberships, a 98 for the current year versus 56 for the previous year. That's a notable jump there, 75 percent increase in that. Uh, so particularly, I think that the presidential election, our state candidates and so forth, have a lot to do with that. You know, a lot of interest, a lot of talk across the nation. Um, then some social networking, and, and that's one of the key strengths that we do have. Because we're so small, um, I kind of joke sometimes, we're like that little lizard with the collar that pops out and makes them look really big, but we're actually really small. It's because we look big on social networking out there. So you can see, as far as our reach, compared to the previous year, uh, this, this year, uh, as of now, we had over 7 million uh, people reached out there, and that's organic reach, not paid for, just what the quality of the posts and so forth are getting <coughs> around, versus 150,000 and some change, literally 47 times what it was a year ago. So we're all putting in a lot of effort for that. Uh, then the likes, 3,867 versus uh, 1,600 and some change there, a 140% increase. So. Nice. Uh, people all over the country are, are looking at Alaska, and again, I think the news has helped, you know, and I think Alaskans are looking more at us and so forth. Um, the bank balance, about a 30% increase there. You know, we've gotten some additional funds versus exactly a year ago to just like before the conference, the number I pulled out of there based on statements I had. But uh, that's something we can do more of, more fundraising and those kinds of things, and that's a goal for us going forward. Uh, the Johnson Well campaign. I mean, we had the great honor of being their hosts as they came up. Uh, 18,725 Alaskans voted Libertarian, 5.9% total, ensuring our ballot access, you know, which is outstanding. And people are out there participating. We had their Liberty Tour come up. And, uh, you know, thanks to Stephanie and Joel for helping them out down there in Anchorage, you know, and, and getting it done and see. Uh, 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 um, Care was helped out with the process too, and you know, critiqued me on my little joke routine that I did over there. You know, so tried to bust a few Alaskan things, you know. So, uh, but uh, anyways, had various guests. Governor Bill Weld was here. You know, Matt Kibbe, You know, told us about how free we were because we had beer. You know, and I agree with that. You know, completely. So, uh, Michael Dukes, uh, John Chisholm, and, and others were there. Uh, the Joe Miller campaign, you know, as we all know, you know, across the country, um, exceeded his expected numbers. Of course, the polling was out there pushing it down, saying, oh, no, he's not going to do anything and he's not going to succeed. But 29.4%, uh, you know, setting a libertarian record. You saw on the video, 
that uh, you know he's even a notable uh, across the nation there. So um, our all-time best showing in a race for the office, libertarian, you know, across the board. Uh, Joe Miller's campaign. You know, I asked him. I said, "Hey, some people are saying we're supporting you, others not. How are we? What are we doing?" You can see the comments that he put there. You know, about how we were how we were supporting him out there in the Joe Miller campaign. Uh, did absolutely everything we could as soon as we could possibly do it. So, you know, and that's really the motto of this board, which if I, you know, could push a button and make it happen, I want to go forward with me, is we're the ones who get it done. And that's really what it's about. You know, you can have all kinds of philosophies, but you got to do things. And one of the things that Mark has emphasized that I absolutely agree with, we have to put libertarians in the seats. You know, it's all well and good to do all these other things, you know, the social networks and that and that. But getting people in seats like Tasha just ran not too long ago, you know, and uh, we've got a few across the state. But when I do reports and newsletter inputs and so forth, okay, who are you putting in the seats? That's always the question that comes up. And that's our only means of defense, to have a vote against the tide of authoritarian law. So, um, other accomplishments? built a website for uh, uh, poll watchers, including applications that they could apply, assignments, where they were going to go, and instructions of how to do it. The legal team had a bunch of, you know, finagling to do on that one, so the wording was proper. Uh, Forty poll watchers gathered and dispersed to key areas, you know, so that made a difference out there. Could have done a whole lot better uh, across the whole state, but, you know, you got what you get when you get it. You know, we gave it our best shot on that one, but I think it was pretty good. Um, APOC board nominees, two, you know, are currently waiting confirmation out there. We gave them five names, you know, and they, they, they're working on it. They, they do have bigger fish to fry, you know, with the budget and not increasing it, you know, if you ask me. But Reason Magazine, talked to them, had an interview about, you know, how we did and what we did and so forth. Um, Worked with uh, Karen on a cannabis descheduling resolution up through the LNC. At the end of the day, they didn't accept it, but we'll be back, you know, because that's really something that has to be addressed, the disconnect between the federal rules <coughs> on it that are arbitrary, let's face it, versus what the states are doing, you know, in their laws. Um, we stood up a Fairbanks affiliate, had all the bylaws, constitution, uh, you know, uh, and all the required documents, and we just need to revive that, you know. Um, various business licenses and statuses and so forth, little fires that we were putting out. And I think Stephanie put it really well when she said, you know, we finally got to the point that we're, we're not putting out fires anymore, we can actually move forward and start accomplishing <coughs> those bigger long-term goals like membership and visibility and those kinds of things. Uh, general meetings were a thing that needed to be happening, you know, and we started that up in Fairbanks and also down here in Anchorage for the public to have a chance to come in and meet with us and understand what this... So I hear you libertarians are selfish. That's right. You know, we prefer to do charitable acts by ourselves rather than through some government agent. You know, that's how selfish we are. You know? So help them understand what we really are. Um, various reports, CN, she burnt many a midnight oil, you know, doing these APOC reports and budgetary reports, and I was doing FEC reports, and I didn't know anything about it. I mean, the, the, honestly, I, I'm relatively new, right? It's, it's been a year for me that I've actively been involved, and this <coughs> learning curve has been uh, really steep. I was telling, talking to Mark, said, yeah, I knew the learning curve was, you know, I was going to learn things, but I didn't expect so much so soon. Right? So, you know, it's a little daunting, but hey, you know, if you put your heart in it, it's like a, I listen to this one radio host, and he says, if you, if you bait your hook with your heart, you'll always catch something. You know what I mean? So you, you put your heart into it. Uh, created a, a reference database for the Gary Johnson folks. I think, were you involved in that, Joel? Yeah, so Joel was helping him out, you know, with things. So, like I said, this team gets it done, you know, and that's really what it's about. And, uh, and really, I think one of the thoughts going forward, too, is that it's not an exclusive team, you know? Everybody gets a seat at the table. You know, I, I, I mentioned an um, 
Oscar Wilde quote where, you know, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. You know, so we're all in this together. So, so all righty then. And so I have to say thank you and welcome to the convention and thanks for coming. And that's uh, my remarks there at this point. Let's see, what do we have next? Um, the committee breakout. Break <laughs> well done. So you can, you can Stop kill the, the Facebook there. <laughs>